Nine times sea animals messed with the wrong opponent. There is a lot of action on land, but there is just as much underwater. It's just that we don't see that as much, because we don't live there. Have you ever seen an octopus in action, or have you ever heard of the bobbit worm? If you're into ocean creatures, this is a must watch, as we count on nine times sea animals messed with the wrong opponents. He's picking it up, that is nuts. Number 9, Lobster vs. Crab. These two look like they're making out. The lobster is hugging the crab, and it seems the feeling is mutual, if this is a fight. It's a fight for babies. This huge lobster goes in for a bite, but a crab shows up, and they fight over the dead creature. The crab is quite big, but the lobster is not alone. No wait a few more crabs show up, and now it's lobsters. Wow, what's going on here? A crab tries to take a lobster's fish head off a one-armed lobster. Two crabs are fighting over another crab. Number 8, Giant Octopus vs Mega Shark A massive Pacific octopus is housed in an equally massive aquarium tank. Sharks are also known in the aquarium, and they are ferocious predators, and opportunistic feeders, who have been known to stray from their regular fishy diets. The octopus on occasion, these are sharks known as spiny dogfish. I'm curious whether someone approached the octopus to inform it, about such an arrangement of sharing a tank with sharks. So, what happens if these two species are housed together in a water tank? You're going to find out, if you have enough cojones to watch. This real-life Jaws isn't going to be pretty to watch. I have a feeling, I'm glad, I didn't wager on this fight. Because the octopus is cleaning up after the shark never judge a book by its cover. Number 7, Eels Fighting in a Battle to the Death in South Maui, this yellow margin more defeats the yellow head more mores are tough. And you can see by looking at this fight that, they don't play around its kill or be killed. These two more eels are not romantically inclined, and they're not talking or hissing. They are about to get into a scuffle, but one eel is bigger than the other. As the smaller eel retreats into his hole, two more eels are engaged in a fight to the death. Both eels have their jaws planted into their opponent's body. And now it's a game of patience to see which one succumbs first. Number 6, Bobbit Worm. The Bobbit Worm detects passing prey with its five antennae and snaps down on it with its extraordinarily muscled mouth parts, known as a pharynx. It can split a fish in half because of the quickness and strength with which it accomplishes this. This flamboyant cuttlefish is taking a stroll when a Bobbit Worm snatches it. But for some reason the worm lets go with the cuttlefish and the current carries it away. I'm not sure if it's dead or alive because it was barely moving before the attack and it has the same body movement after the attack, which is no movement at all. This footage was captured while the diver was watching the bobbit worm during a night dive, because small creatures are typically drawn to strong lights. Number 5, Polar Bear vs Beluga. These beluga whales are incredibly frail and damage the ice. On the other hand, did not cause their injuries for any meat-eater hunter. A whale would be a magnificent prize if these beluga whales stranded by. The ice are within reach of polar bears when threatened. Belugas try to stay submerged as long as possible, although they can hold their breath for roughly 20 minutes, even if the whale is weak for malnutrition catching. A 4-meter-long 1-ton whale is no easy task. This polar bear isn't preparing for a 100-meter freestyle competition. He's fishing for beluga whales, and when he dives for one in this video he hits the jackpot, there isn't much. Number 4, Sea Lions vs Octopus. A camera filmed a never-before-seen act of predation. As Australian sea lions lend a hand, or perhaps a flipper in the establishment of South Australia's marine parks, a big octopus is captured and eaten by a sea lion. The behavior and foraging habits of the endangered Australian sea lion are being revealed by the seabed ecosystems of South Australia. Sea lions equipped with GPS trackers and cameras are taking scientists on incredible adventures to discover marine hotspots. These places are crucial for supporting fish populations, as well as providing food for sea lions. This rocky outcropping is the size of a football field, and is home to Australia's largest sea lion population. The camera captures a difficult prey item, a huge octopus that is too big to swallow. She drags it to the surface, so she can breathe while attempting to break it down into bite-sized bits. The octopus tries to flee several times, but the sea lion is unyielding. The sea lion chops off tentacles one by one, and as the octopus floats away, it returns for more keeping the victim near the surface, so it can breathe. Number 3, Moray Eel Attacks Stonefish. This huge moray eel doesn't seem concerned with this stonefish's deadly spine. When it bites into it without hesitating, one second I guess, the moray eel never got the email regarding stonefish. 
This moray eel pulls the stonefish out of its hiding place and shows it to these divers, after which he swims around with the stonefish in his mouth. I'm not quite sure if he's looking for a place to eat it or if he just doesn't know what to do with it. This stonefish is already dead, but this moray doesn't care as he bites and tears into pieces to eat it. Stonefish are venomous yet, when this moray strikes it, Number 2, Octopus vs. Puffer Fish Divers encountered a strange fight between an octopus and a puffer fish off for Gate Island in the Seychelles. The octopus appears to be trying to make a meal out of the puffer fish. But is that even possible? While octopi have the capacity to eat creatures small and large, they usually don't eat fish especially poisonous ones. Parker fish are filled with petro-2 toxin, a neurotoxin 100 times more potent than cyanide. However, no one knows how this affects octopi. In addition to this chemical defense puffer fish are covered in spines. Octopi's arms however are nimble and malleable, which allows them to wrap around sharp edges without injury. The divers had to leave the scene before seeing the outcome. Number 1 Crab vs Sea Urchin Carrier crabs and several kinds of sea urchins share a mutualistic relationship, which indicates their association helps both creatures. Predators are kept at bay by the crabs. The crab may utilize the sea urchin as protection as it travels ahead. This sea urchin has arrived at the hair salon for a quick trim before his daughter's wedding. The crab is very smart and eclipses the sea urchin spikes. This crab could open a hair salon and make a lot of money. When the haircut is done, the crab leaves carrier crabs truly live up to their name. They have two specially modified back legs to carry objects as a defense mechanism. This the urchin hitches a ride on this crab. As they head downtown to the wedding, a red sea urchin and a blue crab. A handful of hermit crabs with somewhat cumbersome looking shells and several exceptionally well camouflaged species, you wouldn't even know. Well, that's our countdown of 9 times sea animals messed with the wrong opponents. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the stunning fives on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now.